This video will look at preparing media and how to pour agar plates on a bench top and within a biosafety cabinet. To begin, select the appropriate glassware for preparing your media. You will often have the option of using beakers, Erlenmeyer flasks, volumetric flasks, or graduated cylinders, but not all are applicable. When preparing general growth media, utilize an Erlenmeyer flask as it is easily autoclavable and has a narrow opening reducing the chances of spilling which might occur with a wide mouth beaker. Verify the correct volume to be prepared using a graduated cylinder as volumes on beakers and Erlenmeyer flasks are only approximate. Pour measured water into the flask and mark the fill line. If more precise measurements are required, a volumetric flask must be used. Starting with your empty flask, label your glassware with tape and never directly onto the glass. Before weighing out the powdered media, ensure your balance is level by checking that the air bubble in the built-in level is centered. Choose an appropriate weigh vessel for your media. For weighing out less than one gram, use a piece of creased weigh paper Weigh boats are useful for measuring out ingredients greater than 1 gram. Do not use heavy glassware. Place your weighing vessel onto the balance and tear the weight. This is also known as zeroing the weight. The amount of dry media that you require is determined by the formula per liter of the media bottle. If you require agar plates but only have media broth, add 1.5% agar powder as well. Slowly add the powdered media while weighing. If you add too much, remove it and adjust until accurate. You want to dispose of excess to the waste and never back into the bottle. Weigh different components separately. If you add them together in the same weigh boat, you will not be able to remove material to adjust the weight as they will be mixed. Make sure you wash your utensils after every use. Place a stir bar into your empty flask. Pour in about 50 to 80 percent of the final volume using distilled water and begin stirring. While stirring slowly, add the powdered media and allow it to dissolve. Once all the powder has been added and dissolved in, add water to bring your solution up to the required final volume. If you had added the exact amount initially, you can see you would have a final volume larger than what was required and what you had calculated for. Wrap the opening of your flask with aluminum foil and add a piece of autoclave indicator tape to ensure proper sterilization. Autoclave your media sterile if applicable, otherwise filter sterilize. Your media now appears clear. To pour any plates on your bench top, create a zone of sterility with your Bunsen burner. Ensure anything to remain sterile stays within this zone. Flame the flask opening before beginning and bring a single petri dish into the sterile zone to be filled. Working closely to the flame, pipette the required volume to a petri dish with slow even movements and lifting the lid only as much as needed to allow entry of the pipette tip. Close the lid and then set the plate aside to solidify. Re-sleeve the pipette tip to prevent puncturing the bag where it will be disposed. If you wish to pour your plates by hand, use a heat glove or some paper towel to prevent burns from the hot bottle. After flaming the flask opening, pour with careful even movements, replace the lid, and set it aside to solidify. Move the next dish into the aseptic area and continue. Once plates have solidified, mark the edges of the plates with a color specific to your media type instead of having to label the bottom of each dish. Return the plates to the original bag, being sure to slip the bag over top. Do not slip your arm into the bag. Label the bag with the media type and date prepared. Some people prefer to pour their media within a biosafety cabinet. Lift the sash to the operating height and wait for the airflow to stabilize. This model has indicator lights that change from red to green when the cabinet is ready for use. Spray the surface of the cabinet with 70% ethanol before beginning. When working in the cabinet, be sure not to block the grill with your arms. When entering or exiting, move your arms straight in or out in a smooth, even manner to limit disruption to the airflow. Place all petri dishes and media into the cabinet so you are not constantly moving in and out. Even though you are within the cabinet, avoid leaving media or dishes uncovered for any length of time as changes to the airflow will put them at risk of contamination. Set the plates aside to solidify within the cabinet and place them into their original bag after labeling for storage. 